there are many func functionalities that you can weave within the woven construct. And, uh, and I also think we need to replace beton and cement in, in the building or in the construction, uh, 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 in the way we construct. So this could be this lightness is such an advantage uh, that I think this is really a, a future. Also, if you think of flying cars or platforms that we have to build for all the flying cars. So we have to have very, very light constructive things on our buildings to receive helicopters or drones or whatever. So there is, I think, and if, if you have something that could unfold, like you have a balcony or a platform that reacts on the sun or reacts on energy, you could unfold your 3D construct, what's hanging on the facade. So that's a way I'm thinking now for this 3D uh, weaving. It is just neglected, I think, in this sort of hard environments we are creating, you know, now you go to a restaurant and it's just so noisy, you can't talk to your partner, you know, you can't talk to your colleagues because it's, it's all um, hard surfaces everywhere and so on. Um, and, you know, this pared down look has made it a no-no for textiles to go out of the door, you know. So in a way, one needs to resurrect um, and bring them back to life uh, with intelligent usage, really. Um, so I, you know, at my age now, I can't go to a restaurant that's so noisy uh, <laughs> either. It just irritates me, right? So now I need all the fabric, all the acoustics you can bring in <laughs> to the space as much as you can, one can. I don't know all the processes, how, I, you know, like I don't know how glass is made or concrete or whatever. One thing I know is that textiles fundamentally are humanly as possible, are within human reach. You can do the whole process by yourself. Not that you have to, but it's something that you will learn so much more by doing, you know, by, by getting involved with it, by wearing it, by noticing, by, by you know, uh, living it than any other material. So why are we so obsessed with concrete? Why are we, and I love it, I love brutalism, and I, I mean, I know why it has to exist, but, but why not look at textiles in a different way too, since they are the second polluter at the same time?